Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to use Excel to display the first trading day of the year, depending on whatever the current date is. Now, in a previous video, and there will be a link in the description for that, uh, I was calculating year-to-date returns for a series of stocks. Now, in order to do that, I had to put in the first, the first trading day, basically, I guess, you know, the first day after New Year's Day that was a weekday. And I would like this to be automated. So what I have in this particular cell is just the today function, which is displaying today's date. So I'm recording this on March 10th, 2021. Now before I manually typed in January 4th, 2021, because that was the first trading date, but I'd like that to be automated. Um, so if anybody grabs this particular Excel file, there'll be a link to that in the description as well. Um, if you were to open this up next year in 2022, this should automatically have the first trading day. So in order to do that, let's make sure we understand we need to get the 2nd of January because January 1st is a holiday regardless of the day of the week for the for the market. So I'm going to do equals date. Now the year is going to be the year of my current date. All right, comma, the month will be one for January comma two for the second of January, closing parentheses. So now I've got this date over here. I'm just going to kind of de-emphasize that. That's going to be useful information, a useful cell, but I want to kind of devalue its look in this particular worksheet. All right, so we've got that information. Now I'm going to head over to my beginning of the year value. And by the way, this cell is what's getting these stock prices. So if I don't have that cell in there, um, that date, then I lose my prices, hence I lose my year-to-date returns. Now I need to look at this particular date and find out if it was a weekday or a weekend, Saturday or Sunday. Now I happen to know that January 2nd, 2021, in fact I've got a calendar off on my other screen, let me just jump over to it. January 2nd, 2021 was a Saturday, so I know that's not going to be a legitimate date there. So I'm going to write equals ifs. Now ifs allows us to do a series of logical tests to see if they're true. And if they are true, we can perform some result. So ifs. Ifs the weekday of this date in G2 is equal to a 7. So the weekday function produces a number 1 through 7. Sunday is 1, Monday is 2, Saturday is 7. So if the date for G2 is a 7, it must be a Saturday. Well, in that case, I'm going to take that date and I'm going to add 2 to it, which would ultimately get me to a Monday. Um, so this date plus two extra days would take me to January 4th. Got it. All right, comma. If the weekday of G2 is equal to 1, well, then it must be a Sunday. And then I'm going to take that date and I'm going to add 1 to it, comma. And then I'm just going to write in a true Boolean, which will be kind of like a catch-all. If it's not Saturday, it's not Sunday, then everything else is good. If it's not Saturday, if it's not Sunday, then whatever this date is should be fine. Um, yeah, that looks pretty good. And I got my closing parentheses already, so I will go ahead and press Enter. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So if today is March 10th, that means the beginning of our year after the, uh, the first trading day for 2021 is January 4th. And that is correct. I do have my calendar off to the side and I can see that that is correct. Now let me dial it back here. I'm just going through my calendar. I'm going to jump over to January of um, 2020. So January, so let's see, if this date was 3-10-2020, then that means the beginning trading year was January 2nd. I'm looking over at my calendar and that's true. January 2nd was a Thursday and January 1st was a Wednesday, but that's a holiday. Markets are closed, so the first trading day is there. That looks good. What if this was 3-10-2016? Okay, well, let me dial this all in. That's, that's assuming, oh, so 3-10-2016 goes to January 4th. Let me dial this all the way back. Um, yep, so January, so 2016, the same as 2020, really. Uh, January 1st was a Friday. Markets are closed. The second was a Saturday. The Sunday was the third. And so January 4th, 2016 was the first Monday. It was the first trading day after New Year's Day. 
Excellent. Okay, so now that we've automated that process, it's going to be a little bit easier. So I can take this and make it back to today, which is going to, of course, impact my beginning of the year date. It's also impacting my yesterday's date. Oh, you know what? That should also be fixed up so that uh, yesterday, I don't want it to be like a Saturday or Sunday. So um, I think I'll fix that off camera. And if you want, you can grab this uh, video, this, uh, I'm sorry, you can grab this file from the description. However, if you use this same technique, you should be able to figure out how to do that yesterday date as well. So, all right, so fun challenge. Thanks for hanging out with me.